It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, today I want to share something with you that I found. Uh, I took off uh, the Dillard's homepage on Facebook uh, describing what the set of the Andy Griffith show was like. Uh, I thought this was really probably one of the better things I've ever seen read or uh, written um, and I enjoyed so much so you can guess it was a pretty good thing. So um, let me just read it to you and see what you think. The Andy Griffith show set was a happy set, an old Hollywood maxim meaning that if a star is happy, the set is pleasant and the actors like their work. In all the other television programs we were on later, I never saw a cast or crew at ease and unfailingly civil, more liable to play practical jokes on each other, remember each other's birthdays, or ante up for a special occasion than the Andy Griffith show. I couldn't help think it was because the show was such a gentle, good-natured look at how humans could get along that it had the filter into the daily attitudes of the people working there. In between takes, Don Knotts and Andy would go over their lines, cracking each other up with ad-lib comments, or while waiting for the lights to be set, they would do things like throw darts, something at which Don excelled and Andy was mediocre. Andy would stand back to look at Don's score and shout, Don, you hateful puke, or I'm going to whoop you if, if, if it hard lips the Pope. <laughs> Andy was totally happy in his work, and his big laugh was irresistible when something struck him funny. Very rarely would Don, uh, Don would blow a line, and when he did, Andy would pretend to make a production of it. Well, lucky here, I've had to memorize the Constitution, and you got, ain't got uh, but four little pretty lines, and you can't even get them straight. I don't think I've ever seen two actors who regarded each other as highly as those two. Both total pros who could work to each other's timing and crack each other up between takes. Mitch Jane talked about the camaraderie and special relationship that existed on the Andy Griffith Show set. This comes from his book, Homegrown Stories and Home Fried Lies. And there you go. I just thought this was really cool. Um, Mitch Jane, of course, one of the Dillards, uh, who's passed away by now, of course, but... Uh, uh, just a super description. I, I just love this so much. This is the coolest thing I've ever found on the Andy Griffith show. And God bless him. He did such a job at, at writing it. Pure artist. Pure and simple. Uh, that's all I have for you. Hope you guys got a kick out of this and enjoyed it. And it gave you a little warm feeling about the show that we all love so much. Have a great day. God bless you. Praying for you.